I'm making this video in regards to a subject I was talking to my girl about, man, a couple of days ago, man. And this subject is about, you know, why do black men and women hold each other to, to ridiculous standards, man? And if, if black people notice, man, the men and the women and whatnot, right? You notice that for the most part, man, you know, black people don't cut each other no slack, man. I'm talking about black men or women, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, when it comes to other black people or whatnot, man, black folks don't take no shorts, man. You know, um, now, I'm not sure, you know, how this would go in regards to black women or whatnot because I'm not a black woman, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure how they see things in regards to the high standards that black men have for them, you know what I'm saying? Um, they complain a lot about, you know, um, how black men like lighter skinned women and, and straight hair women and all that type of stuff, right? And for some cats that might be true, man, you know, and how they saying how, you know, how if a, if a non-black woman does the same thing a black man does, a black man will accept it, and a non-black woman, but, but not a black woman, and I have seen that before, you know what I'm saying? Um, but from my experience being a black man, whatever, you know what I'm saying, I've seen, you know, the women take, I mean, have, have, have these super high-ass standards for a black man. But for a non-black man, the stands are damn near non-existent, man. You know, um, like Francis, right? You know, a lot of women say, man, when it comes to a black man, it's like you're just totally by your looks, man. You know, your your personality don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, it's like, you know, when it when it comes to to black guys, they got all these high-ass physical standards, man. I want a nigga who's six feet, six feet four. You know what I'm saying? I want a nigga who's this, who's that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they want they won't suffer less at all. You know what I'm saying? They won't suffer less what so damn ever, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. People have a light people have a, have a right to like what they like, man. You know, people have a right to, to prefer what they prefer. You will never have a problem with that, man. Because for one, I'm not going you will never see you will never see dark one son with a with a fat woman and shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never gonna see that. Ever. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I mean I, I gotta be honest, man. That shit does not turn me on at all, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, I, you know, you know, say, I mean, ask my little pet peeve or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you being overweight is something that you can control, you know what I'm saying? But the only thing I'm saying is, is that for me, man, my standards are universal, man. I will hold everybody to the same damn standard no matter what race they was, man. I don't like fat women, period. Period. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? But, um, what I've noticed and, and, what, I've, and what I've seen from a lot of black women and whatnot is that when it comes to a black guy, you know, he's got to be a damn fucking virtual Boris Cujo and shit, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or damn Morris Chestnut or some shit, you know what I'm saying? But I would see that same but did a fucking subpar ass white or non-black man, man. You know? And, like I said, man, I, I don't care what you do, man. As long as you hold everybody to, to the same damn standards, man. You know what I'm saying? But, that don't seem to happen. And, like, I've been out here, man, and I've seen, you know, um... Black men with some with some thing. It's short ass Latin dudes, it's short ass white dudes, so fucking short, man. You know, like fucking children or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But but yet, yeah, man, they won't set a black man who's the same, man. You know? And uh I would never understand, man, you know, why black folks are so hard on each other, man. You know. I look around at every other race, man, and it's like, you know, they give each other slack, man. You know what I'm saying? I see, when I look around, I see beautiful women of, of other races, I mean, the most average guys you'll see in your life, man. But that, that shouldn't happen in the fucking black community. Now, like, yeah, it's happening in the black community, man. You know? Um, and I just don't understand why that is, man. And then, you know, it's like, you know, what you mean about it is, is that black folks, from what I've seen, black folks have no problem giving their best to people outside their race, man. You know what I'm saying? You will see, you will see a, a fucking good-looking black person with a sub, with a with a subpar non-black person, man. Who ain't even who if the if the system was different, you know they they wouldn't be with that person, man. You know, what I'm like fences like Garcelle 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 Beauvoir or Halle Berry or some shit, right? Just fences, right? Garcelle's husband, man. He ain't the handsome. I'm telling you, he ain't the handsomest motherfucker I see in the world. He ain't the handsomest guy I see in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's like when it comes to non-blacks, man, you know, blacks accept major shorts just to be, just to be with that person because they ain't black. 
You know, the black men and women do do this shit. I mean, both of them do this stuff. But yeah, when a person is black, they want they want who is the same way. You know what I'm saying? They won't give me fucking time of day, man. You know, and I would never understand why you know um, black people give the best to others, man, and not to each other, man. And my thing is, that's why I say to the brothers all the time, man. You know, if you step, if you go, if you if you date a chick outside your race, man. Make sure she's a fucking dime, man. I ain't trying to be shallow or funny like that, but what I'm saying is, you know, make sure she's on point. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you can't sit back and have these high ass standards for a black chick, man. But yeah, for somebody outside of race, man, your standards are fucking low as hell, man. That ain't even right. You know what I'm saying? So, and for me, man, you know, if I did that type of race, man, which for the most part, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? But if I did, you know, the chick man would have to be every bit as good as the black chick would have to be, man. But, you know, but, but then again, I, I, I think I've always been that way anyway. I, I've always been that way. So, I mean, to me, that's just the way I've always been, you know. But don't sit back, man, except less from, from, from outsiders, man, and just have these high standards for your own, man. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of want to talk a little bit about that, man, because the way black men and women hold each other teach fucking ridiculous standards is just sad as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the, reason, that's the main reason why people can't find mates, man. You know what I'm saying? Number one, man, nobody's perfect, man. Nobody is perfect. I got plenty of flaws, man. Things that I'm not happy that I have. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, man, if you're gonna look over somebody over some fucking bullshit flaws, man, then you a shallow motherfucker, man. But I mean, I mean, just, you know, just imperfections and shit, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we should, we should always, man, give the best to one another, man, before we give to, to fucking somebody else, man. That's all I got to say about that.